Hey gang, Sparky, SparkyUOnline.com. Today I'm just going to kind of start going over a bunch of stuff here. Um, sorry for the inconsistency of the videos. Um, but hopefully things will turn around here and uh, we'll all be able to benefit and gain uh, some knowledge. So let's just uh, kind of take a look here. I want to show you some stuff. Uh, this was just a current uh, request. And it's about uh, terminals and stuff. Um, so I'll start off with just some of these basics. Um, I've got all types of uh, uh, male, female, eyelets, holders, grommets, butt splices, yes, butt splices, fork terminals, spade terminals. Uh, this is only just a few. And then in this kit here, I have a lot more. I've got some more eye bolts. Uh, they all come in different sizes. It tells you. Um, the size and the size of the wire. You got uh, some of your smaller ones. This is a female stake on right there. And that's probably about a number 10, number 12. The reds, I believe, are in your smaller gauge, 16. And um, I'll take a look at that blue one. Looks like you could use a, you can get a 12 in there. Another thing to note on this, use stranded wire, don't use solid. Here's a fork right here and something like that which you might want to use that on is some of these receptacles uh, when you're using stranded wire don't have the plate behind them. So like uh, this one right here actually has the plate behind it so you can stick your stranded wire down in there tighten it up this one doesn't, so I suggest on your stranded wire, you take this, you crimp it, and you put it on there, and then you can go ahead and tighten it up. So that's one of the many on this one, on that style. All right, so looking back in here, once again, you just got different, different stock crimps. I got some phone crimps in here, more butt splices, just some miscellaneous lock washers and some other odds and ends, some of my cable stuff there. So basically that's it for right now. Oh, let me show you real quick my um, crimp tool. And this is, uh, this is a Klein crimp tool. I've had it a long time. And it tells you in here you've got uh, non-insulated and insulated. So basically what you do, this is insulated is up here. Just take that, stick your stranded wire in there, crimp it down. And then let's say you have uh, non-insulated, which I don't really have any non-insulated. But if you had any, then you just go ahead and put that down in here and mash it on down. So that's basically one of those crimp tools. And then I'll show you another one here. As an electrician out in the industry, I wouldn't necessarily be using one of these. This is more for around your shop. Uh, it's got a screw cutter in it, 832, 440. I've never even heard of that one before. 1024 is like a ground screw, 1032, uh, 632s. And then you, it's got a little cutter in there. You got strippers in here. Um, more of an automotive type situation. Here, uh, it spells out the colors in here, 22 to 18 is red, 16 to 14, blue, 12 and 10 is yellow. Take a look at that a little bit closer there. So that's just another one. Anyway, um, we'll move on to the next one now.